come to order. The clerk will open the board for purposes of taking attendance. Members, the board is now open. You may check in at your desk. The clerk will close the board. Tally display and announce today's attendance. Mr. Speaker, quorum of the House is not present. Also proceed to announcements by the clerk of printing and enrollment. Clerk announced that the following bills and joint resolution had been reproduced and made available electronically on Thursday, May 25th. House Bills 4664 through 4686 and House, House Joint Resolution C, and Senate Bills 359 through 366. Introduction of Bills. Representative Wozniak offers House Bill 4687, a bill to amend the insurance code of 1956, the people of the state of Michigan and Act. Bills considered read for a first time by title referred to the Committee on Insurance and Financial Services. Representative Hodzma offers House Bill 4688, a bill to amend an act to prohibit strikes by certain public employees, the people of the state of Michigan and act. Bills considered read for a first time by his title referred to the Committee on Labor. Representative Hope offers House Bill 4689, a bill to amend the Michigan Memorial Highway Act, the people of the state of Michigan and act. Bills considered read for a first time by his title referred to the Committee on Transportation, Mobility and Infrastructure. Representative Kofia offers House Bill 4690, a bill to amend the Code of Criminal Procedure, the people of the state of Michigan and act. Bills considered read for first time by his title referred to the Committee on Judiciary. Representative Ayash offers House Bill 4691, a bill to amend the Income Tax Act of 1967, the people of the state of Michigan and act. Bills considered read for first time by its title referred to the Committee on Tax Policy. Representative Meerman offers House Bill 4692, a bill to amend the State School Aid Act of 1979, the people of the state of Michigan and act. Bills considered read for first time by its title referred to the Committee on Appropriations. Representative Fitzgerald offers House Bill 4693, a bill to amend the Open Meetings Act, the people of the state of Michigan and act. Bills considered read for first time by its title referred to the Committee on Local Government, Municipal Finance. Reports of Standing Committees. Committee on Insurance and Financial Services, Representative Brenda Carter, Chair, reported House Bill 4197 with a recommendation that substitute H1 be adopted and that the bill then pass. The bill is referred to the order of the second reading of bills. Committee on Labor, Representative Hodzma, Chair, reported House Bill 4354 with a recommendation that substitute H1 be adopted and that the bill then pass. Bills referred to the order of second reading of bills. Committee on Labor, Representative Hodzma, Chair, reported House Bill 4355 with a recommendation that substitute H1 be adopted and that the bill then pass. Bills referred to the order of second reading of bills. Committee on Labor, Representative Hodzma, Chair, reported House Bill 4356 with a recommendation that substitute H1 be adopted and that the bill then pass. Bills referred to the order of second reading of bills. Committee on Labor, Representative Hodzma, Chair, reported House Bill 4357 with recommendation that substitute H1 be adopted and that the bill then pass. Bills referred to the order of second reading of bills. Committee on Natural Resources, Environment, Tourism, and Outdoor Recreation, Representative Pohutsky, Chair, reported House Bill 4159 without amendment with recommendation that the bill pass. Bills referred to the order of second reading of bills. Committee on Health Policy, Representative Rogers, Chair, reported House Bill 4496 with recommendation that substitute H4 be adopted and that the bill then pass. Bills referred to the order of second reading of bills. Committee on Health Policy, Representative Rogers, Chair, reported Senate Bill 59 without amendment with recommendation that the bill pass. Bills referred to the order of second reading of bills. Announcements by the clerk. Received from the Judicial Tenure Commission the 2022 annual report. Received from the Auditor General the report on internal control, compliance, and other matters of the State of Michigan annual comprehensive financial report for fiscal year ending September 30th, 2022. There being lack of a quorum, the House will stand adjourned until Tuesday, June 6th at 1.30 p.m.